was supposed to be the next great star. Was supposed to be the next great star. That was what your boy A.N. Asho was supposed to, to be, man. Um, but the thing here is also Ronaldinho's on the back. Okay, okay. I'm, it's not like if like I'm now supporting freaking 82. This is the Ronaldinho number 10 shirts. One of the greatest number 10s of all time. Maybe the greatest. Um, my guy, Kelechi, man. Um, it's unfortunate that um, it didn't really pop up for him at Man City. And I was fearful. Because after it didn't pop up for him at Man City. And he then went to Leicester City. And then he was not doing too well. Woke up 2018. He didn't pop up. I was like, oh my gosh. Here again is a guy who was highly touted. Similar to Agahoa. Where you're highly touted. Lots of hype around you. Boom. Doesn't really pop up. Because this was one of the, the stars, I think, of the Under-17 World Cup that night. And Nigeria won. But maybe he's turning over a new leaf. He's scoring for Leicester City. That's what he's scoring for Leicester City. He's scoring key clutch goals. Scoring a brace against like Beret. Second goal was freaking money. Superb, amazing touch. And what Nigeria have been missing is that clutch guy. Obviously, Os Osime is obviously the striker and the front runner. But what you need is that clutch dude. Similar to what Kano Wanko was for Nigeria in that 96 World Cup. Yeah, I'm Amunike and Amokachi with the guys. But you need that other guy, kind of goal scoring dude. And I just hope that he he can be that guy because I that kid I saw the under seventeen psychologically, mentally, technically, his skill and so forth. I was like, no, 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 this guy has to go somewhere. This guy can definitely go somewhere. This guy can definitely one hundred percent pop up off. So I think that coming into this, like obviously, let me just start with this whole walk up qualifications. But I think coming into this, they have to look to win the Af Afcon. That's the main thing. Win the Afcon. And then build upon that. But I just think that for Kelechi, he has finally... Let me make sure how old he is now. Um, I think he has finally now hit his stride. And not all players do. Wait, how, how, how old is he? 20. He's 24. Oh! His, he, he, his, his birthday is a, is a day before mine. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, his birthday is, is a day before mine. Wow. He's, so he's going to be 25 next month. So he is, he's right, he's just now entering into his peak. So it's great. So he's just entering to speak, and that's now why he's not hitting his stride, man. Because I think if Nigeria just have that kind of go to guy, that's go to guy that says, you know, when it comes to money time, I can cash that check, Nigeria can look really good because this ain't the 98 team, this ain't the 94 team. I say, like, that's 94, that team from 94 to 98 beats any, anybody. If those guys were organized and actually cared and they were professional, that team from 94 to 98 beats anybody and i mean any freaking body fast one of the most talented teams of all time that nigeria for 94 to 98 talented teams of all time but there are there are some there's some quality here but i think for kelechi he, he's going to be ready to take up the, the mantle he's going to be ready to take up the pressure and be like all right when that comes to those key moments tough moments one one very tight very difficult it's a chess game can you pop your head up and say what's up but I just feel, and I just believe that, I don't want to tempt fate, I don't want to jinx it or everything, but it just feels as if, look at what has, what's happened with him with Leicester City, look at what's happening with him with Nigeria right now. I think, similar to what Hazard did in World Cup 2018, he's finally just figured out, as an aha, this, you, when, you, when you just unlock that other element of yourself as a footballer, which is what he's been trying to do for so many years, I think he has hopefully finally unlocked that, and with that, he can become the asset that Nigeria have been missing for a very long time. Because it's almost like they, that's that they had like that kind of go-to guy was Agahoa. But this guy is way better than, than that, that dude. This is just keep the, the guy was eh, it wasn't that good. So here's to hoping that Ian Asho can really, really be that dude. Because trust me, Nigeria need that dude. Like the video, subscribe.